Hello, precious standards. I pray that you all are strong in the Lord. And if you are not, you will. I'm believing that this word is about to empower you and raise you up and allow God to show you things to come and show you who you are as he allow you to see in the mirror, which is the word of God and of who you are in Christ Jesus and what he is able to do in your life through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And so thank you all so much, Precious Standards, for joining me. We are in now a new year, and it is so awesome of what God is doing in our lives. He's excelling us. He's bringing us closer and closer to that expected end by the renewing of our minds, people of God. And so I want to thank every one of you all for joining with me. And I am Lakedra to my first timers as well, and God bless you. Thank you all so much for coming on and also for your comments your prayers and all of your support in the work of God and thank you all so much that have subscribed as well to the channel may the word of God encourage you those of you that are standing in the gap for your marriage and your spouse God is able to deliver for we serve the God of restoration the God who restores homes and marriages it is his will that you and I, people of God, prosper in all that we do. For the Bible tells us in Job, and I love it here, in Job's, in Job chapter 8, verses 5 through 7. But if you pray to God and seek the favor of the Almighty, and if you are pure and live with integrity, He will surely rise up and restore your happy home and though you started with little you will end with much and this is exactly what we see happen in Job's life the Bible tells us in Job chapter 42 verse 10 it says and when Job prayed for his friends the Lord restored his fortunes in fact the Lord gave him twice as much as before and precious standards Job he is our example the Bible reveals to us in James how when Job endured through times of test and trials in the end God was merciful and tender towards Job and the same thing is coming to you and I as James also encourages us to hold on and trust in God and if there is any suffering or hardship let him pray and this is why the word of God tells us that if you pray and seek the favor of the Almighty and if we live a life that is filled with godliness and integrity and if we are living a life that is pure and we know the pure one lies in you the pure one resides in you the one of integrity the one who is holy, the one who dwells in you, is the very one that is rising up, restoring your home again. Hallelujah. And what you started off with, that was little, you will end with much. Believe it, people of God. It doesn't matter what you are seeing right now, what has happened in your life. He is raising you up. He will rise up and deliver for the Bible tells us. In Job chapter 9 verse 10 he does great things too marvelous to understand and he performs countless miracles God performs countless miracles nothing is too hard for him he does great things too marvelous to understand as the Lord Jesus Christ tells us what our Lord God done in the beginning the one who is marvelous, the one who is awesome, the one who does great and mighty things, too marvelous for us to understand. Jesus said, as it is recorded in Matthew chapter 19, verse 4, that in the beginning, God made the male and female. And he said, this explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife and the two are united into one flesh 
since they are no longer two but one, let no one split apart what God has joined together. God does great and mighty things. He does miracles more than you and I can count. Nothing is too hard for God. Believe and receive precious standards. God doing a mighty work in your marriage. That God is doing a mighty work in your life. That God is raising up your home, causing it to be happier. Happier than it ever was before. The letter you started off with, believe that there is coming greater. God is about to cause you to receive double for all your trouble and all of your pain and shame. For nothing is too hard for him. He does great and mighty things. More than you and I could ever comprehend or ever understand. Also, as the word of God tells us in James chapter 1 verse 17, whatever is good and perfect comes down to us from God, our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. The Lord God is the one who gave you that marriage, people of God. It is a precious gift. And everything that comes from God is good for you and I. That marriage, God has already blessed and healed. He has already delivered. He has already restored. He has already made you one with your spouse. God sees the end from the beginning. And so what you are facing right now, Count it all joy for it is the trying of your faith. These things that you are seeing now, they are subject to change. They are going to change as you hold on to the profession of your faith. Keep looking in the mirror, which is the word of God. That's what James also tells us. The word of God is showing you things to come. The word of God is showing you what God has already done before the foundation of the world. And as you keep looking in the word, which is the mirror. Not forgetting what you have heard. Not forgetting. But continually looking there in it. It will cause the blessings of the Lord. Hallelujah. That make it rich and add no sorrows. To invade your life. For God needs you to see those things. The Lord needs you to see it in your heart. See those things that be not as though they are. So that you will take a hold of them by faith. Hallelujah for that blessing that God has given you is that marriage of yours. It is a precious gift that has come from up above as the Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 6. Paul says I say this as a concession not as a command. He says in verse 7 but I wish everyone were single just as I am but God gives to some the gift of marriage. And to others, the gift of singleness. That marriage of yours is a precious gift. And it is good. And it has come from up above. And the enemy may be trying to fight you, people of God. But it is too late for him. He is a liar. For God has already given you these precious blessings. These spiritual blessings that has come from up above. And there is nothing the devil can do. This is why you must hold on to the profession of your faith without wavering. But we overcome this world. We overcome the evil one by our faith. The Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms. Because we are united with Christ. You see, we are made in His image and likeness. We are made in His image and likeness. As the scriptures say in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31 and 32. A man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife. And the two are united into one. This is a great mystery. This is a great mystery, people of God. This precious gift, this spiritual blessing, where a man is joined to his wife and the two are united into one. This is what Christ revealed to us in Matthew chapter 19, when we read it in verse 4 through 6. The Lord Jesus Christ was revealing to us. He was revealing to us as he was dealing with the Pharisees. 
concerning a marriage between a man and his wife. It is a mystery. But it is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are united into one. As Paul says in verse 33. So again I say each man. Not some but each man. Must love his wife as he loves himself. And the wife must respect her husband. You see this is the way Christ loves the church. And the church is submitted unto Christ. You and I are made in his image and likeness. All of these things are spiritual blessings. They are good and perfect. They come from God. They are good and perfect. Every good gift comes from above. And you know many sometimes you know I, I have heard many have asked I don't know if it's God's will to heal my marriage or I don't know if it's God's will for me to stand and trust him. Well, that gift of yours was given to you by God. And the gifts are without repentance. What God has given you, it is yours. It is yours. It belongs to you. That union that God has made between you and your spouse, that is there to stay until death do you part. And the enemy wants to come in and divide and break up the home. But it is God's will that your home be happy and filled with joy. This is what we read in Job. It is God's will that you and your spouse be one and be like-minded towards one another as Romans tell us. Be like-minded towards one another out of reverence for Christ Jesus. God Almighty broke down the wall of hostility and enmity that would come in and separate us. He broke it down and put it to death in his body when he was nailed up on the cross. Jesus said, what therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. Let not man separate. In other words, let not man come in and divide. Let not man come in and do things out of the hardness of their hearts. Let not man come in and separate what God has joined together. These things come about. Divorce and enmity and hostility, they come about because of the hardness of our hearts, Jesus Christ tells us. But it was never God's plan for us. Jesus came to reverse the curse. He came to restore all things back. According to God's original plan. It been God's ideal. And it has been his will. That man be joined to his wife. As Christ and the church are one. Hallelujah precious standards. And Jesus also tells us. Remember back in Mark chapter 11 verse 24 he says I tell you you can pray for anything and if you believe that you've received it it will be yours the Lord is saying believe you've received all these blessings spiritual blessings that has been given for you that has been given unto you believe when you pray you've received them all these things that you ask God for that is written in his word according to his will. Jesus says, believe you received it and it will be yours. It is already done precious standards. The Lord God is telling us just to have faith. And also in 1 John chapter 5 verse 4 tells us that this is how we overcome and defeat this evil world. Every child of God defeats this evil world. And we achieve this victory through our faith. It is through believing you've received. And believing what Christ has already done for you. And believing that you have already received restoration and healing. That gift of yours. God gave it to you. And what God gives no man can separate. What God joins and what God gives no man can take it away. In the mighty name of Jesus. As it says, for every child of God defeats this evil world. And we achieve this victory through our faith. And remember, faith comes by hearing. And by hearing by the word of God. Letting the word of God enlighten your understanding. Let the word of God reveal to you knowledge and truth.
This is how your life will line up according to what God has planned and purposed for you and I. We must believe it. We must receive it. Believe we've received it. Meaning receive it by faith and it will be yours. It takes hearing. It takes renewing our minds. It takes seeing, looking in the mirror, not looking at what is going on around us, but looking and keeping our eyes on the Lord who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah, precious standards. Therefore, hold on to the profession of your faith without wavering. For God is faithful who keeps his promises. Keep looking in that mirror. Of what God says about you. What God has revealed to you concerning your life. Begin to declare that that's who God says you are. Begin to declare that your marriage is already an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. Regardless of what you're seeing. Because what God has joined together no man can separate. That situation that you are facing. And that spouse of yours who is away from God or out of the home or there has been a divorce or separation, stand on the living word of God. For life and death is in the power of your tongue. And they that love it, they that love life shall eat the fruit thereof. And they that love death, speak in death, speak in doubt and unbelief, will eat the fruit thereof. And so precious standards begin to speak the word of God. This is how you will begin to see the favor of the Almighty One. And this is how you will see God rise up and bring restoration and healing because you believed you received it and it therefore became yours. God loves you people of God. This is how we receive from God in the earth. We begin to take on what He has already done for us. We believe we received is by hearing the Word of God. For faith comes by hearing and by hearing the Word of God Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the word we have heard, Father. Thank you, Lord God. We declare and decree it over our lives. We declare our homes are being healed. You are rising up, bringing restoration. We declare and decree happiness is coming into our homes. Peace, love, and joy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for a sound mind. Thank you for unity. Thank you, Lord God, for restoration. Lord, thank you that you have given us double for our trouble. Lord, what we started off with, there wasn't much in the beginning. Lord, thank you that there is coming greater. There is coming much more. Praise your name, for nothing is too hard for you. Lord, we praise you in advance. Thank you, Lord God, you does miracles. Too great for us to even understand. We call our marriages healed. We call our families healed. We declare and decree happiness is filling our homes. In the mighty name of Jesus. And joy and love and peace. Unity. Faith. Hallelujah. Goodness. Oh, thank you, Lord God, for patience. Endurance. We are overcoming this world and all of its evil. And all of its evil. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have overcame it by the blood of the Lamb. And the word of God. The word of our testimonies. We praise you Lord. We thank you. Thank you Lord God for transforming homes. Causing them to be greater than they ever was before. In your holy matchless name. Lord we give you the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Praises to your name. We worship you and honor you. Thank you for peace. Thank you for speaking Lord God. To our situations. Thank you Lord God for shining the light upon the darkness. Removing doubt, fear, and unbelief. And bringing forth faith. Renewing our strength. Praises to your name. And all the people of God that joins with me now. We all say yes and amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for this new year of blessings. We declare them over our lives. Thank you, Lord God, for the latter days. That are being greater than our former. In Jesus name. Precious standards. Remember God loves you. He has already spoken over your life. And over your situation. Claim it. And receive it. In Jesus name. For it is already yours. Claim it and believe you've received it. And it will be yours. Stand on the promises. Without wavering. For God is faithful who promises. Remember God loves you. And I love you too. And until next time. Remember you are blessed.